Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Chris from FlipUsedCars.com and another in my video series, How to Buy and Sell Used Cars or How to Buy and Sell Cheap, Clean, Reliable, Respectable Cars at a Reasonable Price for a Profit. Anyhow, but that'd be too long of a title. This video is about negotiating how to get the best price on that car that uh, that you plan on flipping or selling for a profit. I've got the American flag behind me. We're a couple weeks away from a midterm election. If you're here in the United States, the people are excited. We want our jobs back. We want our country back. We want the economy back on track. So it's a really nice time, really exciting time. And that's why I put the flag up. Okay, so there's several things that you want to do when you're negotiating uh, to um, to buy to buy a used car and there's an old joke in marketing um, one of the top experts he's been featured on CNN and Larry King Live he's one of the best marketing people on earth and they said they asked him a question they said hey where would you put a restaurant would you put it by the freeway with a big sign or would you put it in a shopping mall or a pavilion or a place by the movie theaters where where would you put a restaurant and he said well I would put one where people are hungry okay and as funny as that is it's absolutely brilliant so we only want to fish from a pool of people that are hungry. They're hungry for convenience. They're hungry because their car needs a repair that we can do at a much better rate. Or part of that repair, the other was a, probably a misrepresentation from the, their mechanic. Or they have an issue with their age or their parking or they just need immediate cash. So we're going to fish and I show you how to do this in all my books and in all my training materials. How to fish from this huge pool this endless annoying stream of people that call you endlessly for cash for their car we're going to show you the fish from that and of course the basic questions are are obvious what do you have you know your make and model and how's it look and how's it run and 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 miles and condition and so on and psychologically you want to ask them what they don't like about it and kind of direct their mind that way but um, today I really want to teach you guys the silent walk around and the silent walk around is after you've decided you know that you want to see this car and you made an appointment and you've shown up at their home and you've gotten rapport with them which I show you how to do in detail after you have rapport you're going to look at the car and when you look at it now I've got a sample car here you're gonna walk this is a plastic Lamborghini um, Murcielago. So when you walk around the car and you see flaws, you're not going to do anything, but you're going to touch them. And that's called the silent walk around. So there's a little stone chip on the windshield and you go, hmm, or a scuff on the front fender and you touch that or the, look, the tires are made out of plastic. But anyhow, so you would touch the tire if it had a lot of wear or when you check under the hood and it's two quarts low in oil and really dirty, you, sh you know, and the people are going to be, oh, my husband didn't change the oil and the rock chip came on the freeway and the rip in the seat isn't my fault. My dog did it. And they just make excuse after excuse after excuse. But what's happening after you're polite and pleasant and cordial and you're doing the secret weapon that almost every new car dealer does when they're taking a used car and trade the secret weapon that I'm going to be totally harassed for giving out on this video and just annihilated by my peers. The price incrementally goes down. Oh, the windshield's 120. They might even think it's 150 or well, who knows what it is on the plastic Lamborghini, but windshields are usually around 120, 150. Oh, it needs a windshield. Oh, I didn't tell about that scuff. Yeah, the tires are low. Yeah, I didn't change the oil often enough. So the price, when they thought maybe it was a thousand clicks down the to 900 to maybe with the tires and and the scuff, you know, maybe it's clicked down two or three hundred. So then when you ask them again what they're going to sell it for, what, what they'll accept, that price is even lower and you didn't really even have to ask them to lower it. You did the silent walk around, which incrementally, little by little, lowered the price on that car. This is good stuff, you guys, and I've got tons of video and several more articles on my website, flipusedcars.com. 
This is Chris from FlipUsedCars.com. Thanks for watching. This is another in my video series, How to Buy and Sell Used Cars. How to Buy and Sell Cheap, Good, Reliable Used Cars for a Profit. Thanks for watching. Good luck on November, uh, November 2nd. I really appreciate you watching, and I'm excited, and I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.